I'm Starla. I'm Mick. And we are our, our fan Fanpage Games. Game. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome to our preview of Milkman, sponsored by Dice Hate Me Games. Starla looks like we're going back in the 50s here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, doing some <laughs> Milkman stuff. <laughs> but hey, family, the Kickstarter is going to start on April 25th. Now, like we say for all of our previews, don't take a word for it. Check it out for yourself. Let your family or your game group check it out and see what you think. But first, let's hear from Starla with an overview. In Milkman, you will control everything from cow to cup, grow your herd, improve your farm, and deliver delicious whole skim and chocolate milk through the neighborhood to demanding customers. Roll the dice and use the actions wisely to become truly legendary. Throughout the game, players will have to decide how best to manage their time, either expanding the farm for more flexibility and output, grabbing valuable customers before the others can, or shipping out that delicious milk to customers for pride and reputation. After the last round is completed, the player with the highest score wins. All right, Milkman. Yes, Milkman. Back in the 50s. Back in the 50s. Yes, back in the 50s. When they we actually delivered milk. Delivered the milk. To your home. Yes. They don't do that no more. No, they don't do No, 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 no. You go into the store your own self. <laughs> exactly. And get your milk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it's a very interesting game because you're starting from when the cows produce it mm -hmm. to when you hit that, you know, they hit that house. Yes. You what know, does it say? From cow to cup. Cow to cup. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Yeah. And it's very interesting now how you have to control all of that. Mm -hmm. And But with this one, you're, you're controlling it. Your, your actions are with dice. Yes. You know, with dice. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we, we are a big fan of the great Heartland, you know, Harlan Company. Company. Yes. And it has a few little elements of that, mm -hmm. but you can really see the difference. There's a difference. Yes. I mean, because it's all about theme. When yes. you talk about from cow to cup. Yes. I mean, you've got your dairy farm. You got you your got cows. Go and milk your cows. You got to get the raw milk into the tank. You got to get the, the raw tanks. milk, then you got to yes. process it to uh, yes. regular milk, and then you do the different flavors or types, which you got whole milk and skim milk, yes. chocolate milk. Then you got to get it onto your truck. Yeah, you got to and then truck. from the truck, you got to get it to the customers. It. First, yes. you got to get the customers. Because you, you got to know what customers. you're going to deliver. But it's really cool how the theme really comes out. It's of all that, theme. You know, how it was back in the 50s yes. where you had to wait for that milkman mm -hmm. to come by and get you your milk. Exactly. You know, the theme exactly. really shines in this one. Now, yes. the game has, is still a prototype. Yes, it's still a prototype. So I know that there are going to be some changes with the components. Yeah, it's going to be a, a I, I like a where few. it's going, yeah. though. Yes. I like where it's going. Yes. I like the little cards, and then they had, you know, the little milk droplets, and they had the little uh, different colors for the types of milk, the skim, mm -hmm. the whole, and the chocolate. But I know that that's going to be upgraded and changed yes. as it produces, you know, as it publishes. Now, but right now, it's a prototype. Now, I can't wait to see the final product. Me too. You know, because, it you know. It has potential. Yeah, and the mm -hmm. art is getting there, mm -hmm. you know, and, you know, you're going to soon, with stretch goals possibly, mm -hmm. you're going to have some achievements mm -hmm. and some goals, mm -hmm. and, you know, eventually. I'm going to love to see what yes, the events would do, yes. you know, and just see the different types of play that can come yes. from it. Yes. You know, and I, I would love to see some weather <laughs> effects, you know, some milkmen that had some issues, you yes, know, with the weather. You know, can't get to that. Like that. I can't get to that house because that house got flooded out or something. <laughs> so that would be interesting what he, yeah. you know, what they come up with. But I mean, it's just so much potential for the components yes. and the artwork. Yes. I mean, like right now it, it is a solid prototype, but I know that there's so many other steps they can take to make yes. this game just really stand out. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Now, when we played, yeah. we played a couple of times. Yeah, we played a couple of times. Now, the yeah. first time was just a ramp up. We just had to get through the rules and try to figure out how, how, how all this stuff worked together. Yeah. But then the second time. And, and the, a few other really times good. that we played, it was not bad at all. Yeah. It was not bad at all. The second time, though, we yeah. were really into it. Because it took, like, one really good time to understand how the game plays. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and the good thing about it is that the rules are not that hard. No. You know, the mm -hmm. rules are not that hard. It's kind of mm -hmm. easy. You know, from start to finish, it's kind of easy, yeah. and the turns are not that, you know, not that bad to go no. through, and, mm -mm. and you know, the rounds are not bad, mm -hmm. so I really see this as a really good family game. Well, what I, I liked was that 
you know, even when you're not the active player, you still get something. You still get something. You get something. You still so get something, The active yes. players roll in their uh, dice, and then they have another set of dice that are community dice that everybody yes. rolls. But when the active player is rolling, they get their six dice, but then you get your two personal you're still, you're dice, still doing and something. you still get something. And so you still mm -hmm. got to strategize. When you see your, your, you know, mm -hmm. your opponent doing something, you still got to say, okay, so how can I maximize my two dice, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get ready so when I get my, yeah. you know, get all the other dice in mm -hmm. there so I can really move but right now let me see what I can do and that just keeps yeah. you active on every turn yes it does you know, a lot of games you know you're sitting there waiting you know for your turn to come you're like oh jeez you, what's, you what's do going on, on every oh, turn. Yeah. what I want to do something but yeah. mm -hmm. with this one you mm -hmm. are you're always moving yes. always thinking yes. always something's going on mm -hmm. and say okay how can I maximize every turn yes even your opponent's turn yeah. to get something going. Mm -hmm. And I really do I really do like that. And then the rounds, you know, they kind of alter depending on how many people are playing. Yes. So it's based on player count. Yes. You're going to get, you know, four rounds, five rounds, six or rounds, six or whatever. Rounds, yeah. so, you know, it's based on player count. So that's going to change how the game plays, too. Yeah, for, we were two players, so mm -hmm. we would had six, we had rounds. six rounds. I needed, yes. I needed more. I needed more. <laughs> I needed more. Because I'm like, more. I'm not getting enough customers because you really have to maximize everything like mm -hmm. money mm -hmm. money is hard to get so mm -hmm. you got to really control how you get those that money well, the and, and you got to mediate those dice big time well, the money's not hard it's, yeah. it's how it's if you roll money if you roll money so it's kind of based on the dice yes you know but the good thing about it you can use your money to you know kind of change yes. the dice you yes. know you can keep rolling mm -hmm. you can pay you know two dollars for you know to try to change the mm -hmm. dice mm -hmm. that you can and then a four dollars to just change the face yes. all together <laughs> that what you want yes. so it's you know you can really mediate the mm -hmm. dice you, I like that too definitely so family remember the Kickstarter is gonna start on April 25th but like we say for all our previews don't take a word for it check it out for yourself I'll let your family and game group check it out yes. now Starla <laughs> Where can they find RPG out there in this neighborhood back up in the 50s? Where, where can they find us with the milkman running around here? Where can they? Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yep. YouTube, and TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. <laughs> we own that now, family. Hey, family, thank you so much for coming out and checking out our preview of Milkman by Dice Hate Me Games. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave it down below. But family, there's one thing, and I do mean one thing, we want you to always know. We love you. Bye, Bye now. Everybody.